Everybody thinks that betrayal is only happening in KVK 1, 2 and 3, what apparently is happening in Season of Conquest, because our allies have betrayed and backstabbed us for a star. So there's definitely a little bit of a story that you need to hear about what has happened in this KVK. Hello everyone and welcome back to our Rise of Kingdom video. I'm Legend Ronnie and today it is one of those videos that, to be honest, really comes hard to do because it is unreal. Something that I have never expected is going to happen. It actually happened. Being betrayed and backstabbed in Season of Conquest. And for what? For a star. Now, this might sound really, really crazy, but this kind of things are going to happen more and more in the future. Because apparently there is a lot of kingdoms that are craving for this star like it is unreal. It is super unreal that people are willing to do just for that as you see on the right up corner with the blue 2191 70 were our former allies and we believed that they will be our allies until the end but apparently it didn't happen to be like that because they wanted the star so they were willing to do whatever was necessary just to get it so obviously everything has a start on how it all started 2148 1682 it is us our camp on the left down corner and as i was mentioning on the up corner the fire camp the kingdoms that betrayed us it all started when the paths were open basically the zone 5 as many people like to call it after the war ended in the zone 5 we won on our camp the fire camp also won on their side the fire camp was offering us to take the sanctuary to take the first capture of the sanctuary as you can see that is still not captured and obviously the diplomacy team decided to not take it like why is the reason of it and that their reason was we will decide at the end like uh, who's gonna get what they also left the level 7 pass as well telling us to take it you know, they wanted to have a leverage when it comes to the, the Ziggurat. More specifically to the end rewards of the Ziggurat. Because Kingdom 1781, they have two stars already. And they mentioned that they want their third star. Right? So we agreed when the Zone 5 were all finished that whoever does the most in the KVK in terms of kills and in terms of death, we can decide then like who actually deserves the Ziggurat. So obviously we shared our data and uh, we shared with their and they shared their, their data and we had between 20 and 30 percent more kills and more dead than they did. So basically they didn't fought a lot in their zone 5. The past 7 opened and fire camp didn't really had much fighting going on over there. There's live streams and there's a lot of watching. There's just some force rally and this and that. While us in the water camp we fought for 3 days in Havana fighting uh, mostly Kingdom 601. There's no reason to hide it. Kingdom 2173, they did fought for a little bit. They were here and there, uh, some skirmishes, but not really much help. It was mostly Kingdom uh, 601 that we were fighting with. Because 2173 had civil war, which is their problem. The wars, in the end, started to finish, started to diminish. As you can see, even the way it looks, the area right now, we had the fortress, we had flags. So we almost pushed Kingdom 601 out of the Havana. And uh, the fire camp, they were also burning in Sakaka. As you can see, the, the red lines, T91 and uh, 81 fortresses, they were burning in Sakaka without any problems. But their main concern was to reach the level 8 passes was not helping us in Havana. So we decided to share the stats again because the discussion came up again for the rewards and they were not sharing their stats they were refusing to keep sharing their stats but they were keep asking that they want the end reward for the ziggurat and this is the fire camp that i'm talking about they agreed that they promised they agreed you know that they do it by the kills and that but they know they didn't do much and they still wanted to get the ziggurat so something is not right in the middle and then they said that they agreed to fight us one-on-one -on -one in kingsland and the diplomacy team from the, the water camp said, okay, we fight one versus one in Kingsland. But they were having no fights in Sakaka. 
we were still fighting uh, 601. They were still pushing back. They were still resilient, burning the fortresses, keep filling the fortresses, rallying the fortresses, and, and so on. So we were still fighting over here in uh, Havana. So how can we have one versus one when you're not helping us? There were a couple of flags. You can see over here, there were a couple of flags to this level seven pass and come help us to finish this. But their main concern was to reach the level eight passes, not burning all this territory and helping us because they had their own agenda. Now, our diplomacy team went to 601 to the diplomacy team or the king of 601 to have a ceasefire so we can have our one versus one in Kingsland. And since fire camp is not helping us, they were also offered two circles because in Havana, we only need one circle so we can get our four circle for the injury ones. So we offer them two circles so they can farm and, I don't know, do honor or whatever they want. They can have a little bit of territory here so we can agree to a ceasefire. And 601 didn't want that. 601 wanted to fight with us in Kingsland. Obviously, we disagree. We didn't want that. That's betrayal and then something we didn't do. They took that to the fire camp and the fire camp came back to us because we were already sending coalition email to stop rallying their cities, burn the fortresses, skirmish with them, fight with them for kills and so on, but don't rally their cities because uh, their king was sleeping. So we had to wait six hours until the king was woke up and he came for the discussions. And all this was being sent to the fire camp. Now fire camp immediately said that we betrayed them because we wanted a ceasefire so we can have an equal one versus one. And we explained them that we don't want to betray them. It was never in, <laughs> in our minds to do that. We just wanted a clear one versus one so we can have all our forces as they were having all their forces because nobody was putting resistance to them. But we were still having resistance. So how could it be one versus one? And they didn't took it like that. So they trusted the... 601 kingdom what they had to, to say more than what we had to say about it they said that they want to wipe out the water from the map they already sent emails because obviously they they didn't believe us they had their own agenda it was the spark that they needed that was that was the light the spark that they needed so they can get their ziggurat guarantee right so even when they are in advantage, they are fully loaded with resources because they had almost no fights. They, are, they have everything they need. It was still not enough to one versus one as they needed the spark. And what just happened next, because this is, this is where they, they backstab us. We stayed true to our agreement. Even Urkam came to us to try to offer an agreement to go against fire and we said no. They allied with the earth camp and they allied with the wine camp because now they are all three pushing on us so it's a three versus one situation basically we fought so much in havana that you could say that we got the win for the fire camp and when we wanted a honest one versus one they still they still disagree and say that we wanted to betray which obviously we never wanted to they should have come and help us if they really wanted to have leverage against the Ziggurat, but they didn't. They wanted to let us keep fighting and fighting so we can kill more of our troops and our resources to be weaker and weaker. Because if I go to my city right now, you can see the amount of resources that I have. I wasn't even part. The moment I saw that they really attacking us, because you see the Kingsland, we didn't even put step in Kingsland. When we saw that this is turning into a shit show, really, when we saw what they are willing to do, like allying with our enemies after so long, us being allies, us and fire, they dropped the alliance with us and they went with the other two just to ensure uh, their win on the ziggurat. And we, we thought that this is turning really into a shit show like this, like what they are willing to do for a damn star. We told them that Kingsland is yours. <laughs> like if you really care so much for that, I mean, you've been our allies. We never changed sides. We had offers from, from the other two camps to go against you, but we never changed sides. We stayed true, and they didn't stop. As you can see, they went to the King's Land. They took our passes. They're burning our territory. So that's the story. But I just want to do this video because in the future, if you ever see these kingdoms, 2191 and 70, 
81, you definitely might want to avoid them being allied with them because this is the things they do. They'll do anything they can do just to betray and backstab and do whatever it is in their power and in their hands and twist things around just to get the win. And that is facts. Me personally, I'm really disgusted when these things are really happening. Like if you truly deserve it, like you all, you know that when you deserve it, right? What you know when you've done the the work for it, and they knew that they don't deserve it, and they knew that they haven't done the work for it. So they had to find things going around just so they can get what they want. So this is the story about what just happened in this KVK C11265. I think Flash also streamed some of it. There was probably some discussion there as well, but this is exactly uh, what just happened. And based on all this, 1781 and 2191, they just switched sides immediately, allies with the other camps. So it was all cool and everything was all right. This happened in a matter of hours. Probably was even pre-made <laughs> or they were even talking ahead of time. Like it, it seems so. It seems so that all this was planned ahead of time, to be honest. They were just waiting for the right spark to happen just to demolish the water camp. It kind of feels like that because it all shifted in just, you know, split of a second. And I don't blame 20, uh, 56, 1394, 2173 and 1601 because from losing, they just suddenly turning and winning. <laughs> so for them... It doesn't they don't care that fire is betraying us because from them to losing they just turned into winners and the fire camp also doesn't care because they will definitely get the ziggurat the the star the so precious star that they were looking for to get their third star so for them it's also a win-win situation but is it really a win-win situation when you betray and backstab your own allies like it doesn't this have a follow-up in your future future kvks and for what did it worth it? Until next time, this is Obole Geroni signing off. Peace out, here and take care. See you on the next one and stay safe out there, my friends.